So what I'm going to go over with you guys today is uh, uh, ignition advance and uh, what the difference and different advances are uh, in the distributor. Now this is for old school. This isn't for a uh, newer car with an ECU and electronic fuel injection. This is for our old hot rods. So on a points or uh, HEI style uh, ignition system on an old school car, you have the mechanical advance which is this here, and you have the vacuum advance, which is dash pot, here's the vacuum advance. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then you have the static advance, which is the initial advance that you set with the distributor housing itself, and you lock it down with the distributor uh, lockdown. <clears throat> so what we do for performance engines is we take and we uh, modify uh, change the mechanical advance in these distributors so that it comes in quicker and uh, and makes the engine a little bit snappier and peppier whenever you uh, accelerate. And uh, because the engine wants the advance to come in pretty quick to build torque as quickly as possible. So what we do is underneath this cap here is a couple of weights and two springs and we change those weights and springs so that uh, uh, we put a weaker spring on it so that it'll come in quicker and we put a heavier weight in it so it pulls it open or moves it in an advanced position quicker. Now, the, re for <clears throat> the reason that uh, we're going to go over this is because you can't set the timing like you traditionally did back in the day where you go to the service manual and it says to set it at 8, 10 degrees, whatever initial. Well, if you use a factory mechanical advanced setup, you can do that because the springs are stiffer in it and you you would be getting a true timing at idle. But with the advance modified like we do it, uh, the advance is actually starting to, to come in at idle or above idle, just above idle. So you, you can't set it like the traditional way of eight or 10 degrees. Um, how we do it now is, is we have to set the timing at 3000 RPM because we want the advance all in by between 25 and 2800 RPM, depending on the application, the compression ratio, cam size, the stroke in the engine, yada yada. So, because of that, you have to have an adjustable timing light. And um, <clears throat> what we do then is with this timing light, this here is an adjustable timing light, and this is the scale here on the left. And you use these buttons here to move this up and down and set this to where you want your total timing to be. So if you want your total timing to be 30 degrees, then you're going to set this with these buttons at 30 degrees. And then on the balancer down here, we're going to, we got a black mark on our balancer where our top dead center is. And then this is our mark on the uh, zero on the timing pointer on the, on the timing cover. And we're going to line that up at 3,000 RPM with our timing light set at 30 degrees or 30. I think this engine we have set at 33 degrees. And uh, But before we do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you why you cannot do the old school way of 8 or 10 degrees at idle. We're going to fire this thing, uh, let it warm up a bit because the choke's probably on right now. It's going to idle a little too fast at first. And then once it comes down to an idle, then we'll check the timing and see where it is. Uh, with the uh, timing light because we have an adjustable light and we'll line that mark up and we'll be able to see where the initial is right now before we take it up to 3,000 RPM. Alright, let's try this thing out.
up to uh, 3,000 RPM and we'll check the timing again. Now this one here, I don't like 40 degrees, so we're going to go in and we're going to change that mechanical advance. Uh, and how we do that is, is we're going to take and weld up the slot inside where the mechanical advance is. You're not going to be able to see it very well. You might be able to. We can take the advance button off or the uh, distributor button off. <clears throat> and uh, this one's a pain in the butt because it's got electronic ignition, so never mind. But anyhow, there's an, an, a slot in here. And we take and weld that slot up so that we can limit this. Right now, see how much travel we got? That's way too much travel. We're going to limit that to about right there instead of where it's at right now. It's got double what it really needs. All right, guys, we're going to be talking about this a little bit more in depth tonight on the uh, podcast. So make sure and uh, uh, come visit with us and hang out tonight so we can go over some of these things. Talk to you then.